working with other, other women. And then from there I worked at, at Yale and in the print room. And that was really a close examination of, of their wonderful holdings and working closely with, with women artists and acquiring works by Julie Moretto and others for the collection. Um, after that, I was briefly the director of, of Nancy Graves, for whom printmaking was essential. And I've continued to work with uh, women artists. And I think it touches on something that Danielle mentioned. Um, I worked with Suzanne McClellan on an exhibition entitled Stray that was all about layering. So even when there are photographs, there were layers of photographs on the wall. And she's an artist for whom printmaking is really something incredibly essential to structures to the work. In fact, she made a book to accompany the, the exhibition. So that way that even artists who make prints translate the quality of printmaking back into their work in other media, I think is really something that's important. And so in that way, I think printmaking is such a, a, a vital um, art practice that it can inform not just the work of prints proper, but an artist's whole approach to creation. And I think also, to go back to the topic of women printmakers, I think we can talk about women publishers, women printers, women master printers, even if they deny the term, uh, women collectors, women curators, and the very women critics, and, and, and the roles that women play with, with this. Um, so I, I did a little bit of research into the collection, and I, um, in addition to better known artists such as Mary Cassatt, I was thrilled to see that we have um, about 40 works by an artist named Diana Scultori, who was actually a 16th century Italian female printmaker in the collection. So the Met does have a very um, deep connection to female artists in, in, in the print department. And I think that's something that my predecessor, Samantha Riffner, really made reference to with Selman's exhibition. It's a wonderful um, tradition of supporting the makers. So um, I was really impressed. We have almost 3,000 works by people identified as women in, in our print collection. And many of us, such as me, didn't know how to tag women in the category, so it's much higher than that. So I think the job for any our historians from a variety of fields is to really talk about some of these figures who maybe haven't been exposed to the broader public to contextualize this recognition. It was really great to hear. Is this one working? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, let me pick up um, where you just left off. Um, first of all, I'd like to know um, how many people in the room are um, artists, print artists? Uh, <laughs> how many people in the room um, have shops? <laughs> or of, of any kind, it doesn't have to be a big shop, it be a little shop. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, how many people in the room are women? <laughs> so, so, you see my point. And I, that's where I wanted to pick up from where you left off because um, uh, it, it's really interesting how many women have been involved in printmaking from the start. And I did the, the same kind of thing. Um, and if you look at your little um, program here, you'll see some illustrations. Also, Diana Soltori is the first one. Um, you'll see some illustrations of works by women artists from the 16th century on. Now, there's a collection at the New York Public Library that was uh, put together by the wife of the um, keeper of the prints at the Rix Museum in Amsterdam in about the 1880s clearly under the influence of the first wave of feminism because this collection is a collection of, I can't remember how many prints in it, you know, maybe a thousand prints in it or something, that are all by women. Um, and that collection, her name, was, by the way, the name of the wife of the people of the prints was uh, Henrietta von Kernan, 
and Samuel Avery, when he was uh, establishing his print collection in New York, um, he bought that entire collection and gave it to the New York Public Library along with the other collections of prints um, that he gave that established the print collection at the New York Public Library, which is also, I mean, the resources of print collections here in New York are just amazing, as you know from the conversation here. Um, so the presence of print artists um, who are women um, is, is very interesting. Now, the issue, though, is do, what do they bring to printmaking? And I, I would have to say that during the first couple of centuries of prints, um, it's more interesting to look at what their significance is in terms of the culture and the economy, because um, making prints that were engravings after paintings was um, a big business in the, in the 16th and 17th centuries as soon as printmaking was um, invented, you know, along with, to illustrate, um, you know, books and so on and so forth. And so it was, um, it, if you think about, you know, engraving a plate, you can do it at a table, you know, you can hold a baby in one arm and you can, you know, use your engraving during the your other arm. And so, um, wives, sisters, daughters became printmakers. And no one really thought about this because, you know, so we had the, the uh, model of the, of the male genius, and even when it came to reproductive printmaking, you know, clearly men who were going to do it. But the interesting thing is that the, these are signed by the women. They're signed by Diana. They're signed by Elizabeth Saline. So there, this was a hidden history until the uh, 1970s, when um, people, you know, feminist art historians started to think about um, restoring the history of women um, to, um, uh, to art history. Um, then, um, the, when you think about um, going, you know, coming up into the 20th century, um, there are so many women who were so important um, to the, um, uh, the health of printmaking, the well-being of printmaking. Um, curators like um, Una Johnson and Joe Miller at the Brooklyn Museum who organized these biennial events uh, that were big deals in the 40s, 50s, 60s showing you know, prints. Um, and then um, uh, today, the number of women who are curators um, of prints is, is really um, pretty amazing. Uh, and um, when I think of, uh, not so much when I was making uh, prints, um, you know, trying to market my own work, but more when I was trying to market prints um, from the Brodsky Center in the early days, um, when, as, as uh, I think to see, the, to, she's said, uh, I never pronounce her first name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and she's a really good friend. Um, uh, and she said, you know, that when you run a shop, you have to be, um, you know, in charge of the marketing, and you're also in charge of, the, um, you know, the cleanup, and, and so on and so forth. So you do everything. So, you know, call to Ives at the mat, um, Debbie Bly at Mama, and before Debbie, um, uh, you know, um, um, uh, Reba Castleman, um, and these, these people were you know, just so important in terms of shaping the print collections that we all know and, and love. And then when you think about the shops founded by women, you know, not just um, June Lynn and, 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 and uh, Titania uh, Grossman, um, who founded the shops in the 60s that really made printmaking um, visible in, in sort of the, the, uh, the big market, the big art market. It's really the first time that contemporary prints since, well, that's not quite true because there's a huge 19th century markets in, in printmaking, but this whole idea of prints as important pieces of art, you know, it kind of died out. And when you think of uh, Titania Grossman and June Wang, you know, reviving this and having artists who were important, you know, come and make prints was, you know, pretty significant. And then there's um, Margaret Miller at um, Southern Graphics. There's um, Sue Wilson, the founder of Judene. Um, there's um, Marge Devon at Tamarind. Um, and 
Africa. There's Judith Salatikin, who not only established her own shop, but Judith Salatikin was the first master printer um, uh, who was a woman in Tamarind. Uh, and then you know people like Diane Damani and others who were so important in the print world. Um, so um, it's, it's really significant that this is a room full of women and that we are talking about this. Uh, in the shop and running the shop, and I also had that experience of being in the shop and falling in love with the shop. And when I think of all these, the wonderful people in my life and the people I've continued to be uh, in touch with and artists.